as an extra point, um, 90% of Macro is not Caucasian, so um, not like generally white European or white Australians. So if you're expecting it to be like any other Australian high school, you will be shocked. Just a warning. Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to new school year. Due to the really specific title of this video, I'm going to assume that anyone who's still watching is either interested in Macrob, want to know what it's like, or you've gotten in and you still don't know what to expect. It's time to really crack open how this school really works. Firstly though, please subscribe if you like my content and do stay for the whole thing because you will be surprised at what you hear if you don't already know what Macrob is like. Number one, introverted or extroverted, nobody cares. I'm not gonna confuse this with being shy because orientation first day, everyone's sort of a bit shy, everyone's from different schools and um, it's really hard to go talk to other people but please do because the friends you make, like whether year one, year two, year three or year four, you will like, you will click with them. Like you will click with someone. I'm talking about um, extroversion or introversion, whether you're more comfortable being um, alone or being with other people. So introversion and extroversion is in no way an indicator of whether you be successful or popular or the geeky one in Macrob. Like, over half of all our student leaders are introverts and even if you prefer time alone, you will always find that group of friends who also kind of enjoy being alone, so you guys will be alone together and in a good way, yeah. And if you are an extrovert, don't worry, there will be a lot of people with the same traits and don't think that just because you're an extrovert and, and or like to party a lot, there won't be those kind of students there because and Macrob, everyone is really different and nobody cares what you are like because everyone is diff because everyone understands how it is to be different and you will fit right in. Number two, this school does not allow bullying. Like, I don't mean like, n like very little bullying, I mean there is no bullying amongst the students at least. Like, students do sometimes bully teachers, but like, you know, those are the little stuff. It's really frowned upon to bully people in this school and if you do bully, you are the one that's going to be shunned by all your friends and your classmates and stuff because it's it's really not an indication of whether you're strong or not and it's assumed that you are um, feeling bad about yourself and you get help that way but no one bullies because it's generally not the culture to do so. Of course there's beef and there's arguments but no one really crosses the hard line into physical, emotional, or psychological bullying. Number three, everyone is weird or nerdy in their own way, so you fit right in whatever you are interested in. Like, uh, as an example, I like to go to the anime club on Friday lunchtimes. I've been in a student jet rock band for two years in high school and I like openly squeal and fangirl about Attack on Titan to my teachers and my classmates and literally no one cares because you can be interested in yo-yoing, you can be interested in Fortnite dancing as a like a profession and no one will care like at like the most like people would even like wholeheartedly support you if that's the case. You probably find yourself a niche in Macrob um, for yourself or uh, join some kind of stupid obscure group in a good way. Um, you'll be accepted as you are. Number four, studying is cool here. People here generally um, publicize that they don't like tests, but studying for it and gaining knowledge, that's a pro thing to do in this school so even if you didn't like studying before coming to Macrob that's fine you get sucked into the culture straight away and you start to like studying as well like 100% no joke we hang out in the library for fun sometimes number five this one is quite big um, extracurricular Extracurricular is huge in this school there are four main sectors of extracurricular so there are there are sports, music, drama, and student voice. So sports, you have um, 
uh, all these sports teams, our badminton teams do really well, our um, cheerleading is really cool, like they're hot and talented and really really strong actually. And plus, Ultimate Frisbee is an actual thing here, there is a club for Ultimate Frisbee and a teacher runs it and they actually practice quite seriously if you're into that kind of stuff. So music is quite huge, we have about six main concerts a year and then um, a lot of it is student run and we have like three more events and stuff so there's a lot of things to do in terms of music here. Um, we do have a more recent music culture so people who are interested in um, electric guitar, bands and such um, we've got that. So drama is kind of straightforward. We have an annual musical and a play and that's combined with our brother school, Melbourne High. Um, those are really interesting to join. Please join if you do. Like some of my best friends I made while I was in a musical um, back in year 10. And yeah, then if you strike lucky you can get a really good experience out of it. Student voice refers to things like um, the student representative council or interact club and stuff like that. There's also a lot of other portfolios like IT, environment, social service, all that kind of stuff and those are really interesting to get into. I regret that I didn't do much of those stuff, I just uh, mostly stuck to music but it, it's good to branch out into those areas because you um, get a feel for what leadership in adulthood is like. So in um, Macrob, there's a lot of emphasis on student voice and student leadership, so a lot of things are left to the students to organize or decide or and, and, and stuff like that. And teachers are usually there just to supervise, but most of the planning um, is left to the students. Number six, this one's interesting, there's only one truly male toilet in the entire school. So we have staff toilets, which are unisex, and female students' toilets, um, but there's only one male toilet, and that's um, located in the middle of a stairwell, and the staircase is like this wide, and it only barely fits two people. That just goes to show how much men are oppressed. No, I'm kidding. So funny story. Um, we do have a male toilet in the gym, but then it's been taken over by us girls and nobody really knows it's a male toilet anymore, but it is. So there was this once we had like an external event and I went to the male toilet because the female toilets were all um, stuffed up. And I came out and there was this guy washing his hands at the sink and I just like, I, I just went about, did my business with the, with the sink and he was just like, he was red in the face because he thought he walked in on a, um, he walked into a female's toilet, but it wasn't the case. Like it was, it was just my fault. So um, my point is, four years of schooling at Macrop taught me that I don't really need boys. Um, before I came to Macrop, it was more, more like I can't handle not having testosterone, a bit of testosterone, just like flinging around a bit. But then after I came, I realized that um, without boys, there will always be those kind of girls who gravitate towards being the boys and that's sort of enough and like they become sort of boys 2.0 and I'm so sorry to the gents out there who are feeling attacked but not really. Uh, so like single sex education is sort of good for the soul um, in most girls schools or at Macrob at least and I think it's good because you don't have any toxic competition. Like, as an example, I'm a drummer and when I am compared to other people, if I was in a co-ed school, anything the boy did better than me um, would be because, you know, he's a boy, he would be a better drummer, duh. But uh, if anything I did um, better than him, it would be like, oh my gosh, you're such a good girl drummer, you're such a good female drummer, uh, this is so cool, beat all the boys and all that kind of stuff, you know. So in a girl's school, that doesn't exist, it's just a drummer. Number seven and the last one is that they really believe you can do like literally anything you want and I'm not talking about doing like weed or something. If you want to set up an organization to help some um, small disease that no one knows about but is killing people, you can do that. They they like 
absolutely support you and if you want to do a degree in which like 90% of students are male, you are absolutely, absolutely pushed to do that. If you have a dream big enough for you to dream it, they kind of believe you can already do it and although failure is always counted as a learning opportunity, it's not really something that is considered before you expect you before they um before they support you in doing it. It's not like, oh you might fail, maybe you should reconsider. It's more like, oh, you're gonna do that? Great, I think you can do it. The pressure is sometimes really high and that's kind of expected for an academic school, but I I think that it's a really good environment to grow up in and to develop yourself in. So no weed, please. That's all for today and I hope you've learned something that you're going to be experiencing in the next four years at Macrob if you're going. I don't regret choosing to travel three hours every day to get to Macrob um, because it's let me grow in my confidence and my personality um, as well as in my academic studies. So if you want more great content, please subscribe and leave a comment down below because I really love feedback. Please do give me feedback. It's kind of like pushing something into the void once you upload your video and it's nice to get um, something back sometimes. I mean, it feels good. And I hope those of you who are going to high school or transferring high schools have a smooth transition. I'm Renee, you've been in the Ink Matrix and I'll see you all next week.